In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Suppose you are an editor of a magazine. Every day you get two letters from your correspondents. Each letter is as likely to be from a male as from a female correspondent. The letters are delivered by a postman who brings one letter at a time. Moreover, he has a ladies first policy. He delivers letter from a female first if there is such a letter. Suppose you have already received the first letter for today and it is from a female correspondent. What is the probability that the second letter will also be from a female? So first of all, let's write the information that is given in the question. Uh, we are given that each letter is as likely to be from a male as from a female correspondent. So that means the probability that a particular letter is from a male correspondent is equal to 1 by 2 and similarly the probability that a particular letter is from a female correspondent is also equal to 1 by 2. And now we are given two conditions in the question. The first condition is that the postman brings one letter at a time and the second condition is that he has this ladies first policy. So the condition number one is that one letter at a time. So one letter at a time. And the second condition is that he has this ladies first policy. Now to understand this question better, let's create a hypothetical scenario. Let's say because the postman is bringing one letter at a time. So let's say he brings the first letter at 1 p.m. and the second letter at 5 p.m. And for now, let us ignore the condition number two. So we are only considering this condition for now and we are ignoring condition number two. So in this case, we could have four possible outcomes here. The first possible outcome could be that uh, at 1 p.m. he brings the letter from a male correspondent and at 5 p.m. he brings the letter from a female correspondent. Or we could have this case F and M where he brings the letter from the female correspondent first and then in the evening he brings the letter from the male correspondent and the other two possible outcomes are these mm and ff now let us also find the probability of each of these outcomes so say here i am writing probability the probability of getting this first possible outcome is 1 by 4 because it is equal to the probability that the first letter is from a male correspondent and that probability is 1 divided by 2 and the second letter, that is this letter, is from a female correspondent. And even this probability is 1 by 2. So this is equal to 1 divided by 4. Similarly, the probability of this possible outcome is also 1 by 4. Because the probability that the first letter is from a female correspondent is 1 by 2. And the probability that the second letter is from a male correspondent is 1 by 2. So actually the probability for all these possible outcome is same. It is equal to 1 by 4. Okay. Now let us introduce condition number two and let's see how things change. Uh, so let's write 1 p.m. here, 5 p.m. and probability. Now think of it in this way that uh, now the postman is following the ladies first policy. So if we have this outcome or let's say if we have this outcome, it won't matter to the postman because he's following the ladies first policy. So irrespective of what outcome we have, he will always deliver the letter from the female first and then he will deliver the letter from a male. Okay, so that means we could have a possible outcome here that the first letter that the postman delivers is from a female and the second letter that he delivers is from a male. And the probability of having this outcome is the probability of getting MF or the probability of getting F comma M. So that means this probability is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 because it has two outcomes included in it. And this is equal to 1 divided by 2. Similarly, let's talk about the outcome number 3. So the third outcome is M comma M. Now in this case, he does not have any letter from a female. So he will first deliver the letter from a male and then the second letter that he will deliver will also be from a male. And the probability of this happening is equal to 1 divided by 4. And let's look at the fourth possible outcome. So in this case, uh, both the letters are from a female correspondent. So he will first deliver the letter from a female correspondent and the second letter that he delivers will also be from a female correspondent. So even in this case, the probability will be one by four. Okay, so now we have calculated the probability. Note that when we were not taking into account the condition number two, we had four possible outcomes. And when we consider condition number two, the possible outcomes are only three because the first two outcomes from here 
So these two outcomes are merged into th this outcome. Okay, and now let's proceed with the question. So now we have to find the probability that the second letter will also be from a female when we know that the first letter is from a female correspondent. Let's write the events. So let's say that event A is that the first letter is from a female correspondent and event B is that the second letter is from a female correspondent. And according to the question, we have to find the probability that second letter is from a female correspondent given that first letter is from a female correspondent. And we know that this is equal to the probability B intersection A divided by probability of A. Now let's see what are the events A and B. So A is the event that the first letter is from a female correspondent. So that means we have these two possible outcomes in A. Okay, so A contains these two possible outcomes. So A has these two outcomes, F comma F and F comma M. Okay, and B is the event that the second letter is from a female correspondent. So that means B has only this outcome, the third one. So B has only this outcome. So B has only this outcome, F comma F. And the intersection of A and B, so A intersection B, and this is equal to B intersection A, this is equal to F comma F. And now we are almost done. So we have to find the probability of these events and then we can substitute those probabilities into this equation. Uh, so the probability of B intersection A so the probability of B intersection A is equal to the probability that we will have F comma F and we know that this probability is 1 divided by 4. So the probability of B intersection A is equal to 1 divided by 4 and the probability of A is equal to the probability of F comma F plus the probability of F comma M and the probability of F comma F is 1 by 4 and the probability of F comma M is 1 by 2. So this is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 and this is equal to 3 by 4. So the required probability is equal to 1 by 4 divided by 3 by 4 and this is equal to 1 divided by 3. So this is the required probability. So that means the right answer is part C. And this is all for this question.